All right, guys, so today I'm changing belts and filters. Not, uh, not very fun, not very exciting. But last week I got into a uh, couple of steam boilers and I had to change the high limit on one of them. So let's get into that real quick. Okay, so today we're changing this boiler high limit switch. And the reason why we're changing it is because during the startup of the boiler, this would not cut out operation. So we have an operator, which is set for approximately one PSI, and the high limit, which is set for five. This is a steam boiler, okay? So during the operation um, of the boiler on startup, what we did was, is we moved the set point down to just below one, okay? And this cut out before this one did. So then I moved it lower, all the way to the bottom. So basically at zero PSI. This one still cut out before this one did. So it's a potential that we have stuff caught in here. Now we're not gonna know that till we take it off, but I have a new switch, we're gonna change it, and we're going to retest each switch with the boilers running. Okay, so, no restrictions in the controller here. The piping that it was attached to, zero restrictions as well. So, it looks like we have a faulty high limit controller. We're gonna get this switched out and I'll test it up. New control is on. I just reused the cover from the old one so we could have the high limit symbol still there. I've got it turned all the way down to zero. Okay. Here's the gauge, the boiler just fired up, so when we get roughly above zero, close to one, we should be shutting off on high pressure. Okay, the bell's ringing, the light's on. I think we can say that this high pressure switch is working. We're gonna set it back to where it belongs and go from there. So we also got this contactor changed out. You can see this one's pitted. Got some carbon, a lot of wear on it. Put the new one in there. This contactor is responsible for the pumps that fill the steam boilers back up with water. So we're good to go there as well. Yeah, guys, so I'm really glad that I caught that high limit. Um, Checking limits and safeties and interlocks on boilers at gas-fired equipment is very, very important because if I didn't check that high limit switch and we had a failure of the operator or a failure in the BAS, and that thing went up to let's say six, seven psi of steam. We could have had a we could have had a, a real issue. Okay, um, there's some rads in that building that cannot take high steam pressure. They start to spew out water out of the top, and that water is not it's not cool to the touch. That's some just below boiling temperature water, really hot. Um, it can damage floors. It can burn people. So we have to really make sure that we check those safeties. You guys have an awesome day. Happy HVAC. Self too much.